All right, in this video, we're going to take a look at Unreal Engine 5's new technology called Nanite. This is their virtualized micro polygon geometry. And what this is going to allow the engine to do is stream in static meshes. Currently, they have the technology in the engine where it streams in textures. And what the streaming technology does is when you're further away, if you're walking around in the world and you're further away from something, uh, it's going to have a lower resolution texture on it. And as you get closer, it'll start streaming it in for higher textures. So you could get like 1080p or 4K or 8K. And the reason that technology is so great is because if you tried to have uh, high resolution textures for everything in the game in memory at once you couldn't do it there wouldn't be enough memory so you can just stream it in as you get closer and then stream it out and so the same thing is going to happen with the uh, nanite um, for static meshes as you get closer to something um, it's going to stream in the higher detail so you can have ex extremely high detail or a, a lot of high polygon count uh, for static mesh and as you get further away from it it'll go down and they currently have that technology um, and what they currently use now and also before we jump over to that let's take a look at a uh, nanite you know what does that name mean and I haven't seen anything from Unreal themselves on it but nanite is actually short for nano robotics so it's a interesting but if anybody knows how they got that name if they're just throwing around names and they came up with that uh, it'd be neat to know so let's let's go ahead and go into Unreal Engine and see how it's currently done and so how the pipeline works is let's say you have a static mesh that you want to bring into the world and you've created in a 3D program well some of these static meshes can be huge and with extremely high polygon count and currently when you bring it in you have to uh, set it up because if in your world um, in the game world if LODs or streaming technology is not used on the static meshes themselves, uh, you would never be able to render the scene because there, there could be billions of triangles and the pr processor just, there's no way it could process that many triangles uh, per scene. Uh, so let's take a look how they do it now. So currently you can set up what's called LODs, level of details on these static meshes. So on this static mesh, you can see that there's a uh, 5,310 triangles on LOD1 and LOD1 is when you're right up close to it and you can s set the uh, screen size so if you look at the top left hand corner you'll see we're on LOD0 which is the highest and then as we move back you can see it starts to change to LOD3 now there's 54 triangles and 57 vertices and so as you go further and further back and once you get so far back there's very little detail um, but it does take time for the developers to go through each one of these and set them up. So, for instance, um, a billboard you have to set up, and it's only two triangles. And so when you're really far back, you're really not going to be able to see that that's a billboard at all. Um, so, again, so basically what, this, what that, their new technology is going to do is take over um, setting up all this manually for the LED. You can just drag stuff in, and as it's further in the distance, it'll just stream it out. And as you get closer to it, it's going. To, this is exactly what it's going to do to it. Um, as you see on the left, as the triangles count goes up and down for the polygons, it's going to stream it in. And closer you get, the higher um, resolution or detail. And this tree is uh, only 5,300 uh, triangles, but you can consider they're going to have some things uh, with millions of triangles for one object. Uh, so you can imagine if you had millions of triangles and thousands of, of them, uh, you wouldn't be able to process it all. So that's basically the way it works in a nutshell. If you have any questions or anything, uh, feel free to ask in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you for watching and have a great day.